Hello everyone, my name is Ernest Abibino. I was a young man that was living on the streets of Lagos until Sertrus Foundation discovered me and they promised to assist me for a training course after passing some level of test. They promised to assist me in photography and uh, videography for about 200,000 and I was like, wow, how am I going to get such amount of money? But luckily, they offered it for me for free. And this is my tools in the foundation. And so far, I have learned some things, some part of the camera, how to set the camera, how to get some quality pictures, and also how to do photo shooting on the studio and uh, how to introduce light to a photo shooting background when there is no light and some other things. So I was under a book because the foundation told me they are not just training me to just be a photographer. They are training me to mold me to be bold in character in terms of speaking for me to be confident. So they handed me a book built to last by written by Jim Collins and Jerry Porras and uh, this book has over 350 pages and I was given seven days to read this book and I was like wow am I going to finish this book just in seven days but the moment I started re reading because I'm a book reader too I love reading so I was like okay let me get to it so what I normally do as a reader most time, I go through the back of any book I come across because most books they summarize a little of what is in the book. So when I go through the back, I find it, uh, this book might be interesting. So I will be summarizing what I read from the book and also I will be applying those things that I read from this book on my photography and a videography profession. This book talks about visionary company, successful habit of visionary companies, the things they put in place, the core ideologies they put in place that made them to be successful, not just successful, to transcend even when the founders were gone. So most visionary companies, they had a core ideology, which is their vision and value driven. They are not profit driven. Their aim is satisfying people's, making people their, their top priority, making sure they are able to reach out to people. You can imagine like what Disney, the owner of Disney, he had a core ideology of bringing happiness to millions of people. They, are, they hold on to that core ideology until now. Even Ford, all these are visionary companies, Ford, Walmart, the owner of Walmart, Sam Watson, he was able to build a retail store that was able to make common people purchase what the rich people were able to buy. He had a vision. It was not all about the profits. It was all about satisfying the people. So what am I trying to say? All these core ideologies, we are able to put in some cut like culture, which is some routines. They set out goals, took risks that made them to last for generations. They never let the success of the company get into their head. They were never satisfied. They always felt the need of kept going, the zeal of striving for more. They were never satisfied with, with where they were. So with all this that I have learned from this book in my photography and videography profession, by the time I have finished learning my training and by the time I have established myself, by the time I have a company of my own in the future, I would like to put the interest of people at hand not just about the money, helping youth like me, reaching out to people, and also delivering good services to my clients, 
and also producing a conducive environment for my clients. I want to use this opportunity to thank Central Foundation for using this great opportunity to change my life. I am very, very grateful for Central Foundation for reaching out to me with this opportunity. And by the time I finish with this training, when I'm established, I promise to help other youths out there in the streets for them to achieve their dreams.